Hi, this is Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks Training, we're going to talk about how to export your QuickBooks Online data to Excel. So what I'm showing you is my QuickBooks sample file, and what I want to show you how to do is take data out of here and export it to Excel. So there's a variety of reasons you might want to export it to Excel. Maybe you want to review stuff in a different format and you want to filter. Maybe you just want to take a backup for peace of mind. Maybe your tax preparer has asked you for it. I'm going to show you a handful of ways of doing this. Almost everything we do is going to start with reports. So on the left hand side of your screen, I'll have you click on reports. And now instead of trying to scroll up and down and find the reports, I use find by report name quite a bit. So in this case, we're going to search for what's called the general ledger. The general ledger is the master log of every transaction that's in your QuickBooks. So I'm going to go ahead and select general ledger from my list. This general ledger is just for December, but if I was doing this because I wanted to preserve my 2019 data, I would do the entire year. So I'm going to change the date range to 1119 through 123119 and I'm going to select run report. So the general ledger just to recap, it's a summary of everything that's in your QuickBooks. It's not just the profit and loss or just the balance sheet, it's everything that's in here. So when I look at this, I'm going to go ahead and collapse a few of these just so you can see it. I can see there's all the transactions that are in and out of my checking, all my deposits, all my checks, all my debit cards, everything. And then my petty cash, anytime there was money to and from the cash drawer, uncategorized asset, my Bank America credit card, my Department of Revenue payable, my owner's draws, my sales, uh, my other type of sales, my cost of goods, literally everything. You get the idea. So to export this to Excel, I'm going to go over to the right hand side where there's a, an envelope for mailing, emailing rather, there's a printer for printing, and then there's a little piece of paper with an arrow flying out of it. I'm going to click on the paper with the arrow, which is export. When I click on it, it gives me the chance to choose, do I want to export to Excel or do I want to export to PDF? In this case, I want to export to Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Takes just a second. Then it shows up on the bottom of my screen. And this is everything. So from here, just like I said before, you can set up filters if you want. You can sort, you can search, you can do whatever you want with this. This is a log of everything that you have in your QuickBooks for the date range you selected. So for this example, I'm just gonna save it. Call it 2019 General Ledger. So that's it, that's all you need to do. It's here, it's preserved. Uh, if I go to the end, my sample file has 1300 lines of stuff. My sample file is pretty light. It's just a handful of stuff that I've entered. Uh, your QuickBooks file will probably have more lines and probably will not be as quick as what this video was, but don't worry about that. Like it, you certainly can export to Excel and it'll show up like this and then you'll always have it. There's no driving reason. You don't have to export your stuff to Excel. This video is just in case you wanted to export to Excel. If you do find yourself in a position where you want to have some sort of backup or pr preserve your 2019 data, let's go ahead and do just a couple more exports and then I'll show you how to combine them together in a nice format. On the left hand side, we'll click on reports. And then just like before, we're going to search, but this time we're going to do profit and loss detail. So the profit and loss, I know you've already looked at it. It's your, your report that just says, here's your income, here's your expenses, and it's all totaled up. But the detail, this is what happens when you click on the numbers. It's all the data behind the data. So you can pull this up for your QuickBooks and you can kind of look through it to see what's going on. But I'm just going to do the same as before, export to Excel. So it opens up on the bottom. I'm going to right click on the tab in the lower left hand corner of my screen that says profit and loss detail. And then I'm going to say move or copy. And in this case, I would like to move this profit and loss to the other workbook. So I'm going to change the where it says to book. I'm going to say 2019 general ledger. And I'm going to say move to end. So what I've done is I've said, you know what? I would like all my 2019 data to be in one Excel file. So when I open it up, 
all of the stuff I've exported is here and I don't have to go open various files. So a moment ago, I called this my 2019 general ledger, but I think I should rename it. I think I should call it my 2019, you know, QuickBooks data or something of that nature. So QBO data. So now I have a tab for my general ledger, which is the collection of everything that's in my QuickBooks. And now I've got my profit and loss detail. No surprise, the next thing I'm gonna grab is the balance sheet. I'm gonna click on balance sheet detail because I really wanna know everything that's been happening. I'm gonna change my date range because I really want it for the entire year. And then paper, export to Excel, opens on the bottom of my screen. Right click, move or copy. Change the workbook to 2019 QBO data. Move it to the end just because I want it on the end. And now when I look at my 2019 data, I've got my general ledger, I have my profit and loss, and I have my balance sheet. So this is what I'll sometimes do for clients just so they have uh, records preserved and records that are easy to, to comb through and look at. Um, I'm extremely comfortable navigating QuickBooks, but sometimes my clients aren't. And so if I put something in here and they say, oh, that's not right, um, then we can kind of work from here and go back into the QuickBooks and fix it. But it just gives you a way to look at stuff that you might be slightly more comfortable with, or you might just like this for preserving your data. All right. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks. Thanks.